I actually was uh, the liaison between the Mississippi Association of Nurse Anesthetists uh, for several years and had been trying to get in touch with Thad Cochran and meet him in that capacity and never was able to connect with him. Uh, so when we went to Washington to hear the arguments before the Supreme Court on Obamacare, we decided we'd try one last ditch effort to actually visit his office. And when we got there, we told him why we were there, and we explained that we were very much interested on the arguments before the Supreme Court. So he asked us in that situation, uh, what arguments is before the Supreme Court today? We were astounded that uh, the senator did not realize that the most important uh, arguments before the Supreme Court for people since the Obama administration took office was the Obamacare arguments. And, and he didn't know that that was actually happening on that day and a couple of other days. So um, we were pretty disappointed that he didn't realize that this very important issue was being seen by the Supreme Court. At that time, um, he was more interested in getting to a hearing that he had to um, participate than he was in talking with us. When we talked with Senator Cochran about Obamacare and the fact that it was being argued before the Supreme Court, we thought that perhaps he would understand how important defunding Obamacare, the Affordable Care Act, would be. He said, it's gone too far. It's too far into place. It can't be undone. And which said to me that Senator Cochran's not willing to fight for Mississippians. Thad Cochran told me that fighting Obamacare would be a lost cause. Thad Cochran was unwilling to stand up and fight Obamacare on behalf of Mississippians. I know that he had uh, strong reservations about doing anything about it in March 2012. I was in his office with a couple of other Tea Party friends talking to him about the fact that we were there at the Supreme Court in Washington, D.C. because we were very much interested in what was being said before the Supreme Court to get rid of Obamacare. He didn't even know that day, Senator Cochran did not even know that day, that that was the day those arguments were being presented for 26 states. I think what he said was, as I recall, um, well, I didn't even realize that it was coming up so soon, that it actually was going to be the Supreme Court and it was going to be this year that it was appearing. Wow. Uh, the three of us who were in that office with him kind of looked at each other completely astonished. Just unbelievable that, that this man who's been serving Mississippi for 40 years didn't realize such a case of such great magnitude being argued by Mississippi lawyers before the court and how incredibly uh, impactful it would be to us was not aware of it. It's so disingenuous for Thad Cochran to, to claim that he's been fighting Obamacare when we know that that's absolutely not the truth. That we went to see him and talked to him about how serious it was going to be for Mississippians and Thad Cochran says it, was, it would be relentless, it would be futile to try to fight Obamacare by defunding it or any other mechanism. He did not recognize that Obamacare, the ruling was happening that day, or the arguments were happening. He was shocked. He said he thought it was a ways down the road, which completely shocked us because for everyone else in the country, it's a major event. All media eyes were on the Supreme Court. And for us, that was it was really appalling. Um, when we discussed with him, further that you know we really needed him to be our voice in the Senate he told us he thought it was a waste of time to pursue it that it was advanced and that he thought there was no turning back from Obamacare there was a moment of silence in the room and we sat there and so then we continue to you know discuss with him that you know how important it was to Mississippians that we were afraid to be honest of the impact it was going to have and at that point he asked if we were hostile and when I left his office that day um, I just had a really uneasy feeling and I was really uncomfortable and felt like if our leaders if our most senior rep uh, senator has no clue, one, that the bill is up for uh, review by the Supreme Court today, and if he feels that it, there's no 
point in fighting it, then who is our voice? And who is gonna, who's gonna stand up for Mississippians who don't agree with this bill? It was astonishing to me that he says he's fighting Obamacare when we sat in his office in 2012, Senator Cochran did not know that Obamacare was before the Supreme Court.